Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. It is Wednesday, we kick off the week this week with the team on the screen in front of you right now. As always, it is down in the description down below with a Roll Paste and a Poker Paste. If you guys would like to try it out, take it away, test it, let me know how you get on with it. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. It's got a lot of potential. Just to recap before we go into anything, we've got the Tapu Fini. The Mega Metagross, Eveltal, Incineroar, Groudon, and that Thunderous Incarnate form. So we've not really seen too much from the Thunderous Incarnate. We've had a brief spell with the Metagross doing some work. Um, so hopefully we can see a bit more of those too um, in today's episode and for the rest of the week. We've had some really good matches so far. And the Eveltal's been performing extremely well. And it just goes to show even more why I think I made a big mistake not bringing the Misty C variant to Bristol instead of a Z variant that I did bring. Um, and I think the Misty Seed is just so reliable um, and I'm so comfortable with it as well. I think that's the other thing. So big tip for you guys going into tournaments. If you are worrying about maybe needing a Z move or something newer on the team, but you're more comfortable with something and you still have a lot of faith that it could do the job that you need it to, Go with that, go with your gut, go with your first choice, it's normally the best one. Not always, but most of the time. Um, but, you know, you live and you learn, and uh, there's nothing like hindsight, I will say that. But, without further ado guys, let's jump into this first one today. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent, and as always, if you do enjoy this content, make sure to drop a like on the video, do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, and leave your comments down below, because I love hearing from you all. So, just hop over to this screen because I know you appreciate the bottom screen. We're sitting on a rating of 1695, so creeping towards that 1700. Which I definitely know this team's capable of getting way above that. I really do. I have a lot of faith in this team. I think it can perform so well. Like, I really do. I have a lot of faith in this build. It's just that last slot I'm not really sure on. But we've got Xavier as our first opponent, so we'll get straight into team preview. It's going to be a spicy one. So, first bone in today is running the team of Tapulele, Selgo, Rayquaza, Duskman, Necrozma, Cortana, and Blissleffalon. So, the uh, the clown that let me down is in the team. <laughs> okay, so we've got some real spice going on here. We've got the Lele, the Selgo. It's going to have the Unburden. Probably the Psychic Seed. It's going to have Final Gambit. Loads of shenanigans going on here, which is actually lovely for us to have to deal with. Uh, the Rayquaza uh, Duskman Necrozma is a quite a nice combination. I do like it and something that I would like to explore as well. Probably is Ultra Necrozma and then you've got the Cortana there and the Blacephalon. I have no idea what the Blacephalon is doing in the team, but um, I don't know if it's scarfed. I don't know. It would be like between that and the Tapulele. I'd say more Tapulele being scarfed, but... I'm not really too sure. Eveltal's incredibly good in this game. We need to be very careful with it, and I don't think we bring it in straight away. I think we keep it for later. I think we do bring Incineroar to this game. Um, do we? What do we do, though? What do we do? Um, we could bring... I think we bring Eveltal, Tapu Fini, and... Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Do we bring... Do we bring Groudon? Yeah, we'll bring Groudon to this one as well. And we'll lock in. Oh, these teams are so tricky. I think the best way to approach this sort of team, and personally from a personal point, where if I was going into a tournament against this sort of team, I would think, especially if it's best of three, you've got to think, okay, let's just go with a game plan, game one. Let's try and get as much information for game two. And from the information that you can get in game one, like take your time with when you're battling and really try and squeeze out as much juice from your opponent's team as possible. Um, make it worth your while. So going into game two, you can sit back, you can take your time and you can formulate a game plan from the information that you've got because um, having that information makes such a difference going forward. So we're gonna see the Lele and the Cell Goal come out from my opponent. Um, I think one of the things I would like to probably do here is just fake out the Acel Gore and switch straight away into Tapu Fini. <coughs> just to get some health, uh, some damage onto this Acel Gore, uh, and obviously stop it from doing anything here. Got to worry about an Encore from the Acel Gore the following turn, uh, which is something that we need to worry about. Acid Spray as well is something else that we need to worry about, but at least we get some damage onto it. There's a Moonblast. From the Lele, and you can expect it's going to be Acid Spray, the Cell Goal, for sure. Um, okay, 
So I think one thing we will do is just go for Flare Blitz into the Cell Goal, and I think, huh. Hmm. Icy Wind. I think we Icy Wind. I think I need to to nerf this Tapu Lele. There's the Acid Spray. Oh no! Okay, we're gonna lose Finny here. It's fine. It's fine. I don't like losing Finny at all, but I kind of prefer losing Finny to losing Incineroar, if I'm completely honest. So we'll get rid of this Acel Goal. It's not an ideal trade, but it's a trade that I can accept, for sure. I hate this elbow. I don't hate it. It's just annoying to play because it's 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 just very effective at what it does, isn't it? Now, do we bring in Groudon here? Or do we bring in Ivaltal? I think I bring in Ivaltal. Hmm. We'll get the, the Misty Seed up when we can. Okay, the Crossbow coming in. That's fine. Now, the Necrozmic can't really touch the Uvalto. At least I don't feel like it can. Um, I'm going to U-turn out with Incineroar onto the Lele, and I'm going to Tailwind as well. Do I tailwind? Do I tailwind? Do I tailwind? Do I tailwind? I do tailwind for sure. Because if we can get Groudon in tailwind, yeah, there's the Ultra and the Grasma. I don't like we could lose in cinema here if an Earth Power comes into that slot, which would make a lot of sense. But I can't afford to switch Groudon in here. So there's a Moonblast from the Tapu Lele. Take that pretty comfortably. Rock Slide. What? Kidding. Jesus. Oh man, did not expect that. Please don't. I'm not even going to say the word. I didn't even say it and it happens. <laughs> I hate. <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> I mean, you've just got to laugh. you just got to laugh. Oh, forget the tailwind up there. Oh, we're in such a good position. There's not really much we can do. I don't. <sighs> to get a tailwind up now. Nah. Nah. Rock slide. Rock slide. Okay. It's going to have an earthquake as well, I'd imagine. Like, one thing you could probably see here happening. Although I don't think it'll happen right now, is Rayquaza switching in for the Lele and then Earthquake coming out from the Necrozma. It's obviously a physical variant. Okay, it's gonna actually protect. Maybe we make some progress a little bit here. Don't think we're gonna be able to make very much though. Moonblast. Rock Slide. Okay, if the screen goes black, it's because I've thrown my DS out of the window. All we needed was that to hit. All we needed. Um, is there any point keeping Ivelto here? Or would we be better off switching in Incineroar? Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to just do it. And then get the Intimidate onto this Necrozma. Actually retreats. Okay. So we're not going to be able to do much to the Rayquaza here. But we get an Intimidate onto it. Which is a plus. And hopefully, you know, the Moonblast is going to be into the Incineroar slot. Because they want to try and get rid of this Uveltal. The problem is... Like manufacturing a board position now where we can have Incineroar out with Fake Out active. Is there any point of having. I may as well just not have a third attacking option on Groudon. Um, 
at score eruption, it's not going to really do anything um, because Rayquaza does Rayquaza protect? Probably. <sighs> I mean, hmm. I mean, it's like, like this game is done. I mean, we. Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's precipice blade so much. Such a jank move. It really is. It's the the worst, worst of worst. Yeah, there's a delta stream. Okay, hopefully we can. Yeah, we'll get the fake out. Wow, yay. Moonblast. Incineroar. Do you hang on? No. Go down. So we've got an eruption. It probably won't even take the, the, the Lele out now. We'll get some nice damage onto the Ray. Of course we won't. Because it's, yeah. We do get the type of Lele. So that's a plus. I guess. Um, And now we've got Ivalta to come in. Hmm. Uh, what do we do here? I mean, I mean, what can we do? There is nothing. Ivaltal, if it was in better shape, I think, well, we could definitely try and, and do some stuff, but um, it's it's looking pretty bleak. Third time lucky, we'll try a Precipice Blades. We'll try and uh, we'll try and protect with Ivaltal. Thing is, you probably, like, the requires are just extreme speeds, Ivaltal now. Uh, we'll probably just see Earthquake from this Necrozma. There's the extreme speed earthquake. Gonna see Z move. Here we go. Gonna have to make a cutscene. Ah, man. So we'll be right back when it comes into the Groudon, which is where I expect it to be. So, yeah, into the Groudon. Do we survive this? We probably do. It's a physical variant. Yeah, just about. Kind of press his blades off. Can it hit? It hits. Can it crit? That's the big thing. Nah. Um, we could go for a double protect. Really Veltal. <laughs> Not that it matters right now. Nah, we never, we never. And I, I don't get them either. I just don't. I don't fall into that group. That group of people that get double protects. Photon Geyser. So, good game to my opponent. Um, bad game for Groudon. Once again, Groudon. Bad, bad Groudon. It's not Groudon's fault. It's my fault for giving it Precipice Blades. Blame it on me. Alright. Ah, it's just annoying. It's annoying when you play moves and they miss. But, I mean, the thing is, you've got to... You gotta sit back at the end of the day and think, right? Well, I did. I did decide to play this on here, and I will tell you flat out now. This set originally had, um, so it started as a full special set, and then I was like, mm, we probably need some physical option to help us with Xerneas. So, because initially I was like, I don't like Precipice Blades so much, so let's let's try something else. Now I'll hop over to a bottom screen. Uh, thing so yeah, I was like, okay, so we just need something really primarily for Xenia So why not go something really reliable fire punch? Let's go there. You don't need very much investment 50% Damage 100% of the time. Okay, we can do that at two hit KO Xerneas most of the time. So we do that And then I was like, ah, oh, so many situations where precipice blades would be good So then I changed to it and then hit presto We start missing and I'm back to where we had. But we've got a good friend, Luigi. He's on the ladder all the time these days. But a uh, Patreon member. We played him last week, I think, with not the best of results. But we're going to face him again. So it's going to be a good one. We'll hop straight into team preview, my friends. So, Luigi playing a team of, that we have played before, Cartana, uh, Rayquaza, Xerneas, the Crobat, the Incineroar, and the Tapu Fini. So it is the X-Ray core. Uh, you've got uh, speed control from the Crobat. You're going to have Incineroar with fake out support. Uh, Haze probably on the type of Finny. And the Cartana um, is a nice introduction to this team. It really does help against opposing Nilego that this team does struggle against a little bit. But one thing I can say is that Metagross can be very good here depending on the Rayquaza. If the Rayquaza has Earth Power, it does get a little bit trickier. But. Metagross does a fantastic job. It's just about dealing with the Crobat and the Finny. 
which we have thunderous for so we will bring thunderous i think okay let's let's eke this one out so do we bring intimidate support hmm i don't know if i do i like the i like the lead of metagross thunderous tapu finny in the back and then Veltal. if i'm completely honest that's what we're locking in with because we run out of time Running out of time, so chatting too much at the start, but I think we got the the four that we wanted. So let's go into this. Good luck, my friend Luigi. Always nice bumping into him. It's like um, Ching Ching from a few weeks ago who kept bumping into, like <laughs> Luigi. You are a new Ching. Okay, here's an old lead from the old 2015 season, um, even before that. So, Crobat and Rayquaza, okay. The Crobat is probably sashed. Um, but do, does it go for Super Fang? Expecting that we taunt it, that's the thing. Uh, I would expect it to do that, to be honest. Because I could just protect Thunderous. But then, we get punished if it goes for a Tailwind. We really do. Um, and I could just Ice Punch the Rayquaza. I think I'm going to just go for the... I'm going to go for the, the Ice Punch. I'm going to just go for the Taunt into the Crobat. We probably see Super Fang. But I don't want them to get a Tailwind up. That's the big thing. So here's the, the Ray going for its Mega Evolution see what the Ray's got. Has it got Earth Power? Uh, it would be interesting if it has, because Super Fang Earth Power would be pretty devastating for us. There's the Taunt. At least we get that off into the Crobat. What items it got? Okay, it goes for the Super Fang. It's going into Metagross. Okay. Ooh, okay, it's a Salt Vest Ray, so it's going to have Earth Power, so we're going to lose Metagross straight away. Overheat. Oh! Oh, overheat misses. That is devastating. That is devastating. Really is. Okay. Um. That is really, really. That's not great. Um. Luigi never has much luck against me. Um. Hmm. I've got to ice punch into the requires. I can't afford not to. I could have just I I could iron head into it as well. Um like iron head's probably a bit more reliable. Just in case something else switches in because I expect yeah Ray to switch out. Incident. Yeah. Could have stomped and tantrum there. That would have been good. Probably see a super fang into thunderous this time. Mm-hmm. Just putting everything in extreme speed range, outside of the Metagross, of course, which would have went down to an overheat. And there's a Thunderbolt into the Crobat, which does take a nice chunk of damage. Um, hmm. You can only fake out one target, right? Really. So we could get rid of the Crobat. It probably would be worth it to do that right now. I'm just going to Thunderbolt. The Crobat again. I'm actually going to switch into. Hmm. This could be a little bit tricky. Just I don't want to. I don't want to lose Metagross. I think Metagross is too important to us. I'm going to switch into Tapu Finny. Like I think you probably fake out the Thunderous, but there's a big part of me that thinks you might want to fake out the Metagross as well. But probably more the Thunderous. Oh no, no fake out. Just a super fine. We will get. Oh, there's a fly. There's a fly. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the Crobat. That overheat miss. It's so huge. There's a Z move. I think it's gonna be into the Metagross, I would imagine. So if it is, Tabu Finney takes it. A lot easier than Metagross would, yeah. Hmm. 
And then the ray coming back in. Oh, Xerneas. Hmm. It's interesting because we can taunt the Xerneas right now. I, the thing is, I don't think it goes for... I really don't think it goes for the, um, the setup right now. No way. No way. Um... Hmm. So we got our Z move, so we could launch the Z move into yeah, into Xerneas. And just set up a light screen. Especially because it's Assault Vest Ray. I think that's I'm more inclined to do that for the Assault Vest Ray, definitely. Yeah, let's set up a light screen while we can. Let's throw our own Z move out at the Xerneas. I mean if it goes for a Geomancy. You're kind of, yeah, I mean, we're getting punished for not taunting it. Like, that's the obvious thing we need to do. And if he goes for the Geomancy here, it does make things a bit difficult for us. But at least we'll get some nice damage onto the Xerneas. Expected to do like 50%, maybe. Okay, there's, it's quite, that's, yeah, okay, there's a Geomancy. Hmm. So if you get the light screen, we'll probably lose Thunderous here, I would imagine, to Incineroar. Uh, we're just going to see a U-turn right into the type of thing. I mean, you're making all the right plays, like you're getting Rayquaza out next to your Xerneas to prevent Hey, here's the next turn. That's the big thing, isn't it? Because I think you have to Dragon Ascent Finny here. Probably Dragon Ascent and Dazzling Gleam. Um. Hmm. Metagross. Okay, I mean... We don't have hairs anyway. So, we could Icy Wind. We could Icy Wind. I think Icy Wind is probably our best option right now. Protect Thunderous. Doesn't gleam. Maybe this just knocks us into berry. Like, if this knocks us into berry range. Oh, we're well, one off. One off. Oh. <laughs> we're not one off. We're quite. A, we're a little bit more off. One off. Or is that berry already procked? No, I don't think it has. Okay, now we can get Metagross in. But it's it's a little bit tricky now because we can't get rid of Rayquaza. We have to get rid of Rayquaza. Um, I mean, we could try and Thunderbolt Rayquaza and just protect and protect Metacross. It's just if they switch in Incineroar for Rayquaza, that wouldn't be ideal. Extreme speed. See, I would think maybe there you would extreme speed Metagross, but it kind of makes sense not to. Moonblast. Yeah. I think with a light screen up, we'll take a Moonblast. But you're kind of forced, and you're forced to kind of. Um... This is still going to be tough because with the Incineroar being the last thing around. Um... <sighs> I mean, we can snarl. Far play, tailwind. Try a double protect. We probably just need to far play the Rayquaza and just Iron Head. The Zern. Moonblast. We should take this. We'll get the Iron Head. Yeah, the Rayquaza probably picks up the knockout onto the Metagross. We'll get the Rayquaza with Evaltal. And then we've got Evaltal. Does hit this time. Yeah. 
Yveltal versus Incineroar. Hmm. I don't fancy our chances, to be honest, because you've not really got a way to hit it very hard. If we had Oblivion Wing, I think it would be a lot easier. Hmm. Is the Incineroar taking, like, any damage at all? Pretty sure it is Incineroar. Yeah, it is. It's taking a little bit of damage. Not a lot, though. Okay. So... First turn. Let's play the stall game. I'm just going to protect on the fake out. Because we just don't want to take any damage there. See what our foul player is doing. It's going to have a berry as well. Oh no, it hasn't got a berry. It was the Z move variant. So there is there is a possibility. Depends how much damage we do. Obviously and how much damage Flare Blitz does as well. But there will be... Okay, it's not doing enough at all. What's Flare Blitz doing? This is a... It needs to be a three hit really. Okay. Yeah, we possibly could do it, I think. If he keeps on flare blitzing. If he's smart, I think you start U turning here. Oh, is that correct? Ah, Luigi, I'm sorry, my friend. The overheat miss was terrible early game, but very good game. Um Regardless, I think the RNG was just on our side a little bit. Um, maybe why Earth Power is slightly better in some situations than Overheat, just for the reliability there, because you're kind of generally hitting the same sort of Pokemon with that attack. Um, but I know I had a conversation with him earlier in the week, um, and it doesn't really relate to this game, but he does know that the Metagross pretty much normally takes an Overheat from her Crisis. So, uh, so he might have just went for that to guarantee after a little bit of chip damage you'd done. So that would make a lot of sense anyway. But great game to Luigi. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We're going to end it up there. We'll be back with more um, games from this team tomorrow. And uh, just enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.